Hi guys, this is Bad Gamer Cat. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. We're here in a brand new super early access game called Medieval Dynasty. And I'm really excited to play this with you guys. It is just loading up, but check a look at these loading screens. We've got rabbits and bears. Alright, we're going to start a new game. I did a little test game. I played for about an hour and a half to see how it worked and... Um, I'm glad I did because I learned that I cannot play with my regular mouse. So here we go! I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories I could see. It. This is where I can start a new life. Alright, here we go you guys! Beautiful loading screens. I will see you when the game loads. All right, we are in the game. Starting a new life. So we have loaded in at the crossroads of Gustavia and Horica. So we're in a beautiful forest. Check it out. Isn't this gorgeous? And if you look at the top, um, you can see an exclamation mark on our, I don't know, I guess it's a little compass in the middle of the screen. And it's telling us we have to go talk to the Castellan. But along the way, we are going to pick up some things because this is a survival game. Well, it's kind of like a survival game and it's kind of not, um, it's like a mix of different games, really. But we're going to pick up some sticks. And if we can find them, we're going to pick up some rocks. And you guys... Look how beautiful this is. Check out this view. This is just incredibly beautiful. Isn't this something else? I'm so excited to be playing this with you guys. I bought this game the day it came out, but then unfortunately I wasn't able to play. So we have another crossroads here and it's the same one. Okay, we're going down this way to this little town in a valley, just like our mother told us in the intro. Um, our uncle started a new life in this pretty little valley, so hopefully we can go find our uncle. And look at this. We have a field... We have a little fenced-in village. And you guys, my favorite thing about this, we have cows. I hear cows. Where are they? There they are, I think, in here. Look, look, there's a cow. It's a baby cow. Hello. It's a calf. And we can buy them. It costs... 
1,500 coins. That is just crazy. Super expensive. And we have in here... Look at a hundred geese. We have geese for 2,000 coins and goslings for 500. And they're all in their little nests. Oh, look, here's another cow. So, so cool. So we've got people walking around. We've got someone sitting here. This is Zephredia. Um, hello there. Hey, do you have a minute? Um, how's the job? I hope you're doing all right. It's hard and dirty, and I wish I could work in some cozy place like the sewing. Okay, she's not happy, and we did not do well talking to her. She does not like her job. So we have to find someone in this town to talk to. But look what I wanted to show you. We have children, and we have toddlers. Look at this baby. Hello. Hello, Lambert. Look how cute. And I think in this game... Hello. We can get married and have babies of our own, which is so cool. So everybody's busy. They're out and about doing their chores. Look at, look at the geese. Let's pop in. So, we have to find, follow this exclamation point to the guy we have to talk to. Not sure where he is, because the characters, they move around. Looks like our guy is down this way. Hey, wait, who are you? Radigost. Unigost. Hey, stranger, what brings you to our valley? You don't look like a merchant or a pilgrim. Um, no, I'm not. Rysamer is my name, and I came from the south looking for my uncle, Jordan. In, in his old home, they called him Jordan the Raftsman. Jordan? Ah, yes, he told me once about his life on the river. You came to the right place, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. What? What happened to my uncle? He was a great man and an even better friend. As good a craftsman and an excellent trader, he made a small fortune here. See the tavern over there? He built it and he ran it, as well as many other shops you will find in the valley. Um, I'm going to say... Well, at least I have a place to stay, but tell me now, where's my uncle? Don't you get your hopes up, my friend. Ownership changed after Jordan died, and there is no one left to it recognize a debt toward a distant relative of him. So, what happened? How did he die? Gone is gone. The past leaves forgotten. My uncle is dead. His wealth is gone. I came all this way. Oh, I'm not, I didn't say that yet. Forget that. We're on Unigos. He says, his track got ambushed by bandits. His carter slaughtered. He must have put up a good fight. He took two people with him to death from what we saw when we searched for him. I buried him myself. Or better, with the wolves left behind. I am sorry to be the bearer of such sad news. So you guys, our parents died in a war, we escaped to find our uncle, and our uncle was killed by bandits and eaten by wolves. So, yeah, typical survival game, this kind of a game. My uncle's dead, his wealth is gone, I came all this way for nothing. Don't say that. I wouldn't let a nephew of yours go to waste, and even if most villagers forget fast, what they give your uncle, I have no intention to join them here. I am the Castellan, and my word still carries weight. So, tell me, can you build your own fortune? 
I can carry simple tools. I can craft my necessities from the wilderness. I know how to count and to barter. That's good. Um, I may not have goods or gold to offer you, but you can have as much land here as you want. Not sold, but granted to you for life. Build a house, grow vegetables, keep some livestock, and follow your uncle's dreams. Are you serious? My own land? As much as I want? Well, as much as you put to good use, my boy, and as long as you can pay your taxes. I understand. Do you have any advice for me to start with? You can cut down trees to build your house. Reeds grow by the river. It will work well for a roof. Do you have some food with you? Not much. If necessary, you will find several vendors in our village. If you don't have any money for food, you can always look for mushrooms in the forest or hunt animals. Maybe I could earn some coins somehow. Sure, you can talk to people here or in other villages. Some will pay for help. Thank you so much for the advice. It's time for me to find the right place. Let me see. I have something special for you. This is the hammer your uncle used to build the house in which he grew old. What better tool could you use to build your first home here? Thank you very much. See you next time. And this kind of explains that we use the tab menu. Um, we also use Q for the construction wheel. And if we hit left alt, it will help us find stuff. And I always forget it's left alt. I've got to remember that. Left alt. So, yeah. So now we have to, if you look on the right hand corner of, of the top of the screen, chapter one, a new beginning, we have to find ten sticks. We have four of them. Two rocks, we have one of them. We have to build a stone axe, and we have to cut trees, and gather straw, and build a house. So that is what we have to do. And there's all these lovely ladies we can talk to to find a wife. Um, but I think we will talk to them another time, because there's only seasons are only three days long in this game, which is crazy. So, let's go down to the water, because we need a drink, and you can drink right out of the water. And we will look for some stones. I think there's a, a rock, it's right here. And here's another rock. Alright. And, if you come down to the water, there are reeds in between the cattails. These are cattails, and... There's a bunch of reeds growing in between them. And water is essential for life, and it's basically telling us we can drink from rivers and streams. And lakes. So this says we have to collect 20 straw. But in my test game, 20, I collected 30, and that wasn't enough. So... This is super early access, so I'm assuming eventually they will have you gather exactly what you need to build your first house, but that is not the case right now. So if you're playing this game, gather a lot more than 30. It says to gather 20, but that's not even close. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to take a drink. To take a drink, you just step out into the water, and you look down, and you hold E. You don't just tap it, you have to hold it. And the water and the food is just, it's crazy how fast they go down in this game. And now we have to find a place to build our first house. And, um... We could build right around here, but if we do, we're going to be going quite a ways to haul trees. So I think it might be better to come over this way and build on this side of the bridge because there's lots of trees on this side of the bridge. Or it may be even crossing and building on the other side. Um... Because we need a lot of trees. But I think I think we'll build around here. So let's take a look. Let's 
gather some sticks. All right, we've got a bunch of berry bushes here. And the berry bushes are only good in the summer. You can pick them now. But if you do, they're unripe berries. There's more berries here. So I think in my test game, I built right around here. And I think I'd like to do that again. Because I found this was a nice place. Because we were pretty close to the both towns. And um, we were close to all the berry bushes when summer comes. I, I didn't quite get to eat the berries in this. Because you can't eat the berries in the spring. All right, so now we have to make a stone axe. So we hit Q to open the crafting menu and we can make a stone axe. And to build, we also um, hit Q and we go into building and then we go into houses, and here it shows we need six logs to start our house. Now, six logs will not build the whole house. It's just a start. So we have to go into our inventory, and I'm going to put my stone axe into number one. So when I touch number one, we should get a stone axe. And now we have lots of trees over this way. So the game says we have to do five trees, but I'm going to tell you right now we have to do way more than five trees. It says to cut five trees. I'd say you have to cut maybe 10 or 15 trees to build your first house. And the trees fall weirdly in this game, but again, don't forget it's, it's early access and, you know, maybe trees really fall like that. So we have to gather logs. Now the problem is we can't carry a whole lot of logs. There's a stick there, but I had a hard time getting it. It's already getting dark, you guys. The time goes so fast. Um, I love this game. I think it's so cool. But I do not agree with seasons being only three days. And food. Here it tells us about food. And it's basically saying in the spring you can eat mushrooms. In the summer you can eat berries. And in the fall there's more mushrooms, but some of them are poisonous. And um, you can hunt. And you can only plant certain trees in the, certain plants in the spring and other plants in the fall or winter. Like carrots and onions have to be planted in the spring. St. John's wort. We better pick that. Where is it? Here. See these little yellow flowers? That is St. John's wort. And it helps you in case you get poisoned. Like by eating a poison mushroom. Or if you accidentally eat raw meat, I suppose. And you can sell it too.
And here's um, another a mushroom that you could pick. Broadleaf plantain is good because that helps heal you up. And in real life, if you ever get a, a bite or a sting and you don't have any ointment or bandage here on a hike and a bee, you get a bee sting, in real life, broadleaf plantain will help you. You kind of mush it up. You can chew it up. And um, it will really help you. To, it takes the sting or the itch away. Now we are moving in super slow motion because I picked up too much stuff. Okay, so let's hit Q and try building once again. Houses. And we should have enough st uh, logs on us now that we could put the outline for our house down. And this is telling us about seasons and sleep. There's four seasons. Um, we need to get prepared for winter. So I think we're going to put our house right here. And we have our uncle's hammer. So we're going to put that in slot number two. And... If we take the hammer out, that changes this. So you basically, you just hit the walls and that puts the material in. So there we have a door and we are building simple waddle wall with a door. And this is a simple waddle wall with a window. And we don't have enough stuff here. And if you want, you can hold down E for edit, and you can change the walls. So it'll let you change um, walls with windows, walls with doors. So that's a wooden wall with a window. This is a stone wall with a window. What we want is the wattle wall with the window because I would like a window here. And you can only do this before you build. And I want a wall with a window, and it's going to be this one. And I don't know if this is going to be bad for making it cold, but I do like a lot of windows, so I'm going to give it a try. All right, so we are going to have a lot of windows in our house. In fact, there's only two walls without windows, but that's okay. So now we have to cut down a lot more trees, but first I'm going to go into my inventory and I am going to drop my rocks by hitting X and selecting all of them and dropping them. And that should give us a little bit more room to carry stuff. So some of the trees give you four logs, but some of them only give you three logs. And supposedly the trees will grow back in a season. Okay, we do have a, a torch. So we have a simple torch. So we have to equip it with F. 
And then when you click F, it should bring it up. And there. Isn't that a cool torch? And is that someone coming down the road? Oh no, that's just a sign. I thought I saw a person on the road. So let's get our hammer back out. And you can work on the house from the inside too. So cool. And I really like having all the windows to look out. Okay, looks like we're out of sticks. Okay. And just putting some of the straw thatch in, just so we don't have so much weight on us. So how are we doing for weight now? Not bad. Let's go back outside. We need more trees. And maybe five trees will do it. Okay, this is the fifth tree. torch cool? I think that's the coolest torch I've ever seen in a video game. I can't hit this log. There we go. Might as well just pick up all these sticks. Alright, let's see if we can finish up our house. One should do that one. We've got a beautiful thatch roof. Look how cool that looks. Oh gosh, we wrecked our hammer. Okay, we've got a bunch of rocks out here.
Okay, we need to make a new hammer, which is really sad because, hang on. We built most of our house with our uncle's hammer. Oh, look, there's almost a full moon. So now we have to finish the house with our very own hammer. I hit the wrong thing. I'm going to do that for a while. We need to make a new hammer and... What am I missing? Oh, we need a log. A log? Really? To build a hammer? I don't understand why they don't take branches. Alright. We have to cut down another tree. Oh no! There's a log right here. Awesome! Okay, now we can make our hammer. We're making our first building hammer. Actually, I think we need some logs anyway. Since we're here in the woods, let's cut one down tree. Cut down one more tree. I'm not I'm not even speaking properly. Okay. And it looks like our torch died. So we're going to put our hammer back in number two. No, our torch didn't die. Let's just take it out. Let's take our hammer out. Finish our simple wall. Our thatched roof. What am I short of here? I need one more log. Okay, so you see, guys, I cut down six trees, and the game said I only needed five trees, but I need seven trees. Let's get this pine tree. Slow motion timber. Ooh, mushrooms. All right. Just gonna pick up all these sticks that we can. No. Let's go finish our house. HP. If, oh my god, we are dying of thirst and hunger right now. Okay, um, you can read that if you want. It's telling us that we can heal ourselves with broadleaf plantain, which is great. But I have lost track of time and we are dying of thirst and hunger as we speak. So let's go get a drink.
And let's grab something to eat. We have some dried meat. You hit F to eat. And we have oat rolls. We should probably eat an oat roll because that gives us 45 nutrition. And we can have an apple and we can have some of our mushrooms. Oh, I accidentally ate a St. John's. Oh no, I accidentally ate my oat thing. You gotta be really careful because it goes to the next thing in the line if you finish one thing, which I don't like. Because <laughs> I was not trying to eat that. I was just trying to eat my batch of mushrooms. I didn't want to go to the next thing in line. So we need to make a new torch. And that takes a stick and um, tin straw. And now we have to hit F to put it in our slot. And now we have our torch back. And look at our cute little house, you guys. Look, it's not finished yet. It's almost finished. So close, but so far. This is it. Our uncle would be proud of us. And we have a house, and you guys look at it. it comes with a single bed for our child, and a double bed for ourselves and our wife, whoever we find. And I have a beautiful view out all of these windows. Isn't this just the cutest house? Now, this might be a mistake. It might be a very bad mistake. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the windows will mean that we're going to get cold. I don't know if we can build shutters. I don't know, but I thought, look where we're living. I really want a nice view. So we've got a nice view. Might be cold, but we've got a fire. We've got some leather on our bed, and look, we have a cauldron. So we can cook on the fire. Um, we can cook roasted meat, roasted fish, and salted fish, and salted meat. And in the cauldron, we can cook porridge with oat grain, and gruel with rye grain, and potash with cabbage and meat, and the same thing with cabbage and salted meat. Stew takes three carrots and one meat, or three carrots and a salted meat. Soup is two beetroot and a meat, or two beetroot and a salted meat. And meat with gravy seems to be the easiest way to go. One onion and one roasted meat. So, but we don't have any of that. But what we can do, it says right now, set a trap. We have to set a rabbit trap. So, we have to go in here. Um, I think I think it's other traps. Rabbit trap. Uh oh. I guess I should have gone outside first. So we're going to set a rabbit trap. And we have all these berries right here. We have like a nice berry bush. So I think if we set this rabbit trap in the middle of these berry bushes, I mean, that seems like a place that a rabbit would want to go. Anyway. This is our house, you guys. Let's go into the water. The sun is almost coming up. So, we're going to leave it here. Look at our house. We've got a foundation. We're by the water. I really like this game. I hope you like it, too. I'm addicted to it. Um, I think we're going to stop here. I've been playing for 45 minutes. I'm going to have to either put out a really long video or edit I'm not sure but anyway um I hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit that like button subscribe for more leave your comments if you do play the game leave me any and all tips I would appreciate them and I will see you next time bye for now and take care stay safe you guys